speak about uh, the next game because and we have another game in La Liga coming up next Sunday as you know against uh, Celta the first game after 500 days out of the Bernabeu Stadium it's going to be the first one and let me tell you what there will be a lot of absentees because of the international break and some of the most important like Casemiro, Militao, Vinicius Jr. will not be there until Friday. I mean, will not come back to Madrid until Friday, which is bad because there won't be time enough for them to recover and time enough for them to be included in the squad list for the game. So that means that Carl Ancelotti might implement some changes in the midfield of Real Madrid. And those changes, the most, you know, outstanding chain changes we might see in the next lineup of Real Madrid, that would be Isco Alarcón and Marco Asensio. I mean, if Casemiro is not there, considering Luka Modric and Tony Cruz are out for different reasons, injuries and stuff, Isco Alarcón and, and uh, Marco Asensio might play together in the midfield of Real Madrid. As you know, Carlo Ancelotti has been changing and rotating a little bit more the position, the natural position of Marco Asensio to put him more in, in more interior positions and play more in the midfield, rather the uh, wing, um, the right wing, as you know, the position he was playing in uh, the last season. Because this year, I mean, there's no doubt that Gareth Bale is much better in that position. So the first blast we might see in the future in the starting eleven of Real Madrid this Sunday might see might be uh, Marco Asensio in. Isco Alarcón. So it is not only the midfield. We will probably see more changes, but you know, if Militao can make it, of course, there will be a couple like Nacho Fernandez and Alaba. We might see as well in the attack to Eden Hazard instead of Vinicius Jr. So there will be a lot of changes this uh, weekend against Celta, and it is because of this international break consequences with all the players out of the squad and tired and all the stuff so but the more the most important is that we might see two uh, Marcos and Scarlett playing together in the midfield <laughs> 